He showed that's what at the beginning. At the, yo, man, I'm gonna say what the fuck I want to say. I All right, man, you better know. stay away from them. That, those one type no, of it's people. not because it ain't because just like but, Kyrie, uh, Kyrie don't get that same nice energy. Uh, the G, the G do. Mm. I'm, I'm leaving it alone. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Now, um, let's go, I let's go. I, I, I don't even know what he just said, but before we talk about it, you already know what we got to drop. The opinions expressed on this show does not reflect the ones of the Get Your Bars of Media platform. Therefore, stay at your moist-ass feelings and get your bars up, you bitch. In the words of Capology Facts, hold this LTV, that is. All right. Disclaimer. I want to say... Before we talk about this very sensitive subject that is very, very important, heading into our second hour, um, this is we, we no one up here hates any other race or culture. It's all love. We got love for everybody, but we are entitled to our opinion. As uh, as the people that will watch this later and watch this currently are, so we got love for everybody. Don't get you can misconstrue all of that shit, but we were telling you this is not everything is nothing's coming from a place of hate at all. It's love for everybody. Facts. But this Kyrie, so Kyrie Irving, he dropped a he dropped a tweet with nothing on it. He just dropped a tweet. Um it, the the tweet gained steam. And when the tweet gained the, the tweet gained steam, it was a bunch of people. Um, who uh, who were of uh, of Jewish descent specifically, who didn't like it, and what happened was um, that 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 certain type of uh, people kind of got upset with him because they didn't like it, and they 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 used the term anti-Semitic, right? Which, if you look at anti-Semitic, that means not liking or going against the grain or hate or pretty much hating that specific race specifically if you look up the word and what happened was Kyrie um he uh once he did it everybody was expecting him to p- apologize for it so his owner cuz Kyrie didn't apologize his owner came out and his owner was like yo um I don't respect I don't respect people that did this and da, 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 just talking crazy about Kyrie pretty much talking about he doesn't condone or whatnot. and these people don't even didn't even watch or even hear anything about the video but they went off and they want him to apologize for putting out that tweet. And he didn't even say that he condones the tweet or nothing. It was more like, yo, it might be some hidden gems outside of whatever y'all don't like that people might like that resonates with my people. Because this is showing me specifically some things about my culture that I didn't know about. I want to know y'all opinion on this situation because now they got him that he suspended. Yep. Hey, my, yeah, yeah. my my opinion on that, um, Kyrie's apology and Kyrie paying that 500 k that should have been enough for them to for them to, to make a list about what he should do next before he even plays. That's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like that list was unnecessary. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? It was like, basically, you just yeah. Like he he already paused. That should that should be enough. Oh well, he got the five game suspension. That's enough. But for him, for them, for the Nets organization, you know what I'm saying? For say, hey, here's a whole list of what you need to do before you play. Like that's bullshit. Exactly. I, I believe at this point, man, um, the NBA is just picking on Kyrie, bro. You know what I mean? It's like anything this guy do, man. And I, I don't know if it was so clo- if it was because it was so close to the whole Kanye West shit. But I, I also feel, I feel like that what he did of- already. What I feel like what he did already was too much. This yeah. man literally didn't do nothing. <laughs> what the, he goes to he goes to work and he works and he's one of the best to do it. Facts. But we over here talking about his 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 his, his retweet. Yeah. Not even original tweet. Yeah, I a think retweet. This, I think this speaks uh, volumes to uh, what Kanye's been saying. Talk to us, and it yeah, could have been like, like, like that. You, they can say whatever they want about whoever they want, but if we talk about this certain group of people, it's over with. So they run the, they run the world. They, can, they control, they control the money. So what? I mean, I mean, what, 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 what are we gonna do? What is Kanye gonna do? 
He yeah. don't apologize. He don't play. They still got to pay him, but then he misses a whole year of basketball. Yeah. Well, that's – yeah. So, I mean, what do you do? If you do it, then you jump through a lot of fucking hoops to play basketball. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And now they boycott the NBA, which is – After cool, just man. coming off that season last season, too. Yeah, you got – man, like, good. it's like – Yeah, no yeah. You know but, who, but that's the last you know, two seasons. You know, you know, if, I'm, who I'm the, if I'm Kevin Durant, I'm the maddest out of everybody. One, Kyrie probably not coming back. And two, now they boycotting the, the Nets. Nobody coming to our games. Nobody's watching our games. Nobody's buying our jerseys. They hate us. And I just got to be killing. So, so if you are. Steve Nash got fired. fired. <laughs> so, so this is a serious question. So if you are LeBron James or a Kevin Durant, are you coming in? Are Are you. Are you in defense of Kyrie, or are you protecting your brand by staying far away from it? You see what LeBron hey, said. I, uh, I uh, re- from it. Respect to uh, my guy Brown, man. Like he, he uh, came out and uh, I like what he said. He he, he, he said exactly. This. He said, "Man, this is this is too much." What yeah. is, everybody's looking at the list and saying it's too much. He got to go fucking like meet at the Jewish National or something. Like, what are you? What what, what is this? Yeah, yeah. He, he got to go tour the Holocaust. Come yeah. on, bro. Play, like respectfully. His That's next three games with a, with a yarmulke on and shit. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? He got to play the Olympics. Because, you know, him. if it was the other way around, like a black situation, they wouldn't. He, that wouldn't happen. No. Or any, We've any seen it happen all, all the time. Somebody's food in the microwave ready. I heard that, um, 3B. It's, uh, it's uh, Roman's um, TV oh, monitor. Always, always more. No, you're good. You're always good. Always you're good. good. Um, but I, I don't. Uh, something that something that like truly frightened right. me today. I'm like something that pr- not not frightened me, but really shocked me. Right, it's bothering you? Yeah, something that truly shocked me was I, I heard LeBron James get up there, and I heard yeah. him say what he said, what he doesn't condone, and that's cool. But you are like you like you're talking directly about Kyrie, and you're talking to, you're talking about Kyrie as though he said that I hate these people. And, or yeah. I don't like these people, and I don't condone that. Like LeBron, like, like you have the you have the biggest voice. I guarantee you, LeBron step up and actually side and actually just like like says something real about this situation because he knows deep down where that came from. He knows that mm-hmm. Kyrie didn't do this shit to hate and and to to be anti-Semitic or whatever. He knows this. Right. If you say something, I guarantee you, everybody be like, "Well, shit, LeBron said it. I can hey." Now I can come out and NBA players. It's 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 crazy because if you are an NBA player, you're making a lot of money, right? If you say something, they might take all. They might like they might the the powers that be. That's what I'm gonna say. The powers that be might fuck around and and, and fuck your career up or suspend you too. Right. So hey, I like, totally forgot about the deals he got dropped from. Like, yeah, oh, Nike, Jesus. Nike, Nike, like, <laughs> like, like, if Nike drop you just because of that, for they didn't drop that, him. That though. means, like, damn, like, who's they really suspended him, right? They suspended his shoe just think, in case, until hoping, he does. That, hoping that he do all that shit and then they can yeah. bring back his shoe. This is this is because they already made him. They were supposed to be released already. They already made him, so they got millions of Kyrie's hot off yeah. the press that they can't sell yet. So, so Sentu says we really expect the loyalty and backbone from LeBron. Though, the no, way that because LeBron never had heart, he's a sucker. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna front the way that the way that LeBron wears these Black Lives Matter and he trying to act like he's, he's a sucker, bro. Nigga, it's, it's part of I, it's part of the uniform, my boy. Everybody have one. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm not acting like he brought him. He, he brought him in personally. Uh, thank yeah. you. Uh, uh, I will say this though. I will say this. They, uh, his, the Brooklyn Nets should go in there like like they did for Rudy, and go in there. Everybody go put their jersey on their desk, nigga. Kyrie taking my spot. You know what I mean? Until that nigga come back, man. They need. They need to fuck LeBron, bro. What's he about to do? He's on a whole another coast. He's sleep by the time. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's how still does, sleeping. Uh, uh, how does this? How does this make? How does this make Kevin Durant look though? It, uh, well, I, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't know if it makes Kevin Durant look like anything. It's not there. Kevin Durant's situation. He, all, but, but, but what it does do for him, I feel like it stresses him. the man out. Because now, what the fuck? 
<laughs> they blaming you know, me for Steve Nash. Now they're gonna blame me for Kyrie. I'm supposed to bring championships <laughs> over here. All they do is talk to me. I'm not a leader. Like, uh, like, fucking shit, bro. <laughs> so you don't. So if you're so so if you're Kevin Durant, you don't stand up for your teammate and be like, "This is too harsh of a penalty for this." By a hundred percent. Yeah. If I'm trying to win a so championship with said teammate, because let let me be Kyrie and KD over there on some quiet shit. Oh, yeah. okay, nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you, yeah, hey, you remember that you remember that uh that that meme of the snitch the dude that snitch on the dude in the jail? I'll be looking at him just like that. Hey, what the fuck? But that's the way it's looking though, because <laughs> KD, right? <laughs> KD KD, I haven't heard anything from him stepping up saying this is too harsh of a, 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 a of a fine and, and and of a situation. I haven't heard him say nothing about that. And I would I would expect for that to be this is supposed to be one of your best friends, right? Like Fuck the basketball. You went over here because this is your best friend. He asked you to come and, and to do all of this stuff and to go try to win and all of that. And now that he's in this little pickle or whatnot, and you know that he's not, you you know that this you, you know that this is too much of a charge, an overcharge. Should I say, why, why don't you say anything, KD? Respectfully, didn't he just get done bitching all offseason though? Like I don't really? know if I, I don't know if I really want to go ahead and, and like, bitch some more because I bitched KD, about getting traded and here I am. Yeah. <laughs> so KD man, almost left the Nets last season. I mean, I mean this off season just because of the 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 drama. Not not this situation, but you know the the situation with Kyrie last season too, which forced Kyrie to not play a lot of games true. last season, even before that too. I I just feel like Kevin yeah, Durant. To get to the I just think. I think Kevin Durant should say something. KD should definitely speak up. At the same time, I feel like he's just he's just worn out, you know, because it's it's been a it's it's been an ugly this, season. I just feel like this is deeper. This is deeper than putting on a jersey. Honestly, I feel like this is deeper than basketball. I feel like you are castrating. The, the NBA is, is is pretty much letting everybody know, yo, we can do whatever the fuck we want with you. And the Brooklyn Nets specifically are, yeah, we're going to do whatever the fuck we want with you, period. So similar to, I'm not even going to get into the Ime Udoka, how they find him $2 million and got him sitting on the- $2 uh, million? Dollars? Yeah, they find him $2 million for-, for Oh, for, my for, God. For, for sleeping with a coworker consensually who was- and then a grown person, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn, that's crazy. That's bro. But if it's a rule, it's a rule, yeah, man. That I shit don't is know. crazy, yeah. But that, that's that's just wild, though. Hey, it's, it's worse than the military. The military, you'll go to prison for that. So either but, way, but, like, if you, but I'm saying it's a it's a rule. Like I'm not trying to go too far off of the Kyrie thing, but when it comes to Ime Udoka, this goes back to ownership. Like it's cool to have like if if somebody if if you say that he are the woman, right? If you said that he are the woman, you feel me, and and for and forced her to whatever, get, hey, you deserve like get, get him the fuck out of here. But okay, he did that. You said he sit out a year, you cut half of his pay, and then you then you don't say shit, right? You don't say shit. But then when he says that he when a, when another team an NBA team comes to him and says we we want to sign you, possibly you hit him with a two million dollar fine later. After That's that, crazy. that wasn't even the initial. Wow. Yeah. Hey, light, lightweight, just to bring it all the way back around, isn't he supposed to be picked up as the Brooklyn Nets coach? That's yeah, what that I'm saying. saying. Yeah. He, yeah. He's right. yeah. And, and we got to talk about that kid from the Spurs soon, too. But, uh, yeah, go ahead. Let's, let's continue this shit, though. <laughs> but then, that but dude, then, wow. Alleg- but then, allegedly, allegedly, right, um, the NBA uh, is, is not – it does not want him to go over to – uh, to, to Brooklyn due to the Kyrie situation and due to his current situation because the Celtics are in cahoots with the fucking NBA commissioner. Jeez, so I believe it. I believe it. That's like a movie. Bro, this shit is deep, bro. This shit is deep. And I and just to go back to the Kyrie situation, everybody has their own opinion. Everybody has their own opinion. I know he has the biggest platform or whatnot, but if he retweets something and then he tells you, oh, he apologizes to everybody and says, I'm sorry, why the fuck are you why the fuck are you still calling him an why you why you why are you still saying that he's anti-Semitic though? 
Still. Because they're not listening. Not at all. I why just don't know why people can't like have some kind of uh, like it's just it's just so crazy. Like people bust their ass to get to that level just to be a puppet, my belly. Like that should be wild as fuck. Like you can't say shit, you can't do this. I mean, like I mean, okay, yeah, you can't be out here uh, uh, showing yourself off to people or fucking uh, <laughs> stealing welfare and shit like that. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't be doing that. The whole industry is puppets. Yeah, but reason, they do all these new. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. And then you got, Brett Favre out here. you got Brett Favre out here. You got Brett Favre out here. Yeah, I was just gonna say making what about stadiums with, with uh with, with welfare money. What? How much money did he steal? Bro, a lot. Not not yeah. not one million. Uh, uh, enough enough, enough for enough for uh uh the coach to be back in the in the league. <laughs> Between five and ten million or something like that. Bro. But then, but but you want to, but you want to sit there and focus on Kyrie Irving right now and his situation, calling him anti-Semitic. Oh, they picking on that dude, man. They picking on that dude. There's somebody. There's somebody that's in the the, the press that is there for Kyrie Irving. That's it. And you and you want to know what's even, you know what you want to know what's even crazier, and this is why I fucking I'm I'm dis I'm I'm disappointed in ESPN right now. Did you know? That fucking and no disrespect to Malika Andrews, but she be doing too much. She be fucking doing too much. Yes, she do. Invited a fucking. When was the last time you seen? No disrespect to my Jewish family, because I rock with every culture. You feel me? Every culture, every race of people. You feel me? That rock with me. Rock with y'all. But she invited a fuck. She invited a fucking rabbi onto the NBA. Uh, the the um, uh, what's the name of the NBA tonight or NBA whatever. Whatever her show is, she and when was the last time you seen a rabbi on an NBA sports talk show? Bruh. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, yeah, what no, they did. I, I'm turning no, they did. Bro, okay, bro, hey, talk to hey. I need y'all to keep. I need y'all to keep this conversation up because now I'm about to pull this shit up if you have not seen it. Fuck that! I got. I, it I have not yeah. seen it. I have not seen. It. I would have. I would have very much enjoyed it if he would have hooped out there. At least shot the basketball or something like that. <laughs> this nigga probably don't even watch basketball. Bro. He just over there like. Bro, I'm about to pull it up. <laughs> Why is my hip? Why is my hip? Keep keep the dialogue going because y'all know I gotta go pull it up. But I'll be right back. Oh. Oh hey man, hey, hey, quit picking on Kyrie, man. I thought I thought I thought NBA didn't like bullies and shit like that, man. You yeah, niggas they, is weird, they bro. Gonna, they, they gonna try to cap or nick him. Yeah, facts, bro. They they gonna they gonna sit around here and, and man, they gonna get him out. They gonna just uh like pretty much karate kid his ass out of here, bro. They gonna, gonna just bully like this that. nigga all the way to the fucking uh Europeans. Yeah, he gonna go and he's going to bust USA's ass every year, bro. He goes on to China and be bigger than Stephon Marbury. That's a fact. That's a fact. Do I going to pay him a lot of money, and they don't care about uh, any of that other group that he was talking about. No, nah, no, nah, they just want to use a hoop. Yeah, so they can make money. Yeah, that, that. That that shit's so fucking wild, bro. It's like, man, this nigga Kyrie, Kyrie, like, like, just like Kanye, man. Anything Kanye do, ever since he's, ever since he knocked around that, uh, that dude, man. I don't know. Ever since something, I don't know what happened. I just, it just comes to a point where they zero in on people. I watched a whole, I watched a post game interview or a post something interview, a post practice, whatever like that, with Kyrie, and they didn't say a damn thing about a basketball. The whole time. Yeah, I was yeah, just oh. watching Uncle Drew, and I was like, "Damn, what happened to this this Kyrie, bro?" Hey, fellas, here you go, right here. This is crazy because I I got a mute, but here we go. The league or the PA has specifically addressed Irving. Here now with Chanae Agumake, Richard Jefferson, Vince Carter, and our guest, Rabbi Erez Sherman from Sinai Temple here in Los Angeles. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Rabbi, I, I want to start with you here. What is your reaction to all that we just heard from Kyrie Irving? 
reaction was that when I was a child, I met people that were different than me on a basketball court, not necessarily in my synagogue or even in my Jewish school, but on a basketball court. And so the fact that this ball is tearing people apart right now, and I don't hey, make me mad, it scared. And not scared for myself, but actually scared for my own children. Kids in hey, yo, cut and kids this shit, bro. That take a tweet up there. Bro, if he don't hey, do yo, that, no, we're not doing that. We're not bro, doing that at all. That what the fuck? Here, bro. Stop, bro. This nigga said that the, this ball bro. is tearing the world apart. It makes me scared bro. for my children. Bro. What the bro. fuck? And guess what? ESPN had him on the whole fucking day. So he was on <laughs> all the shows. Oh hell no! Did, did he say anything about basketball? What's his favorite basketball team? He didn't say nothing. Well, I bet, I bet you, team. I bet, I bet you, it was the Brooklyn Nets until this happened, or some dramatic ass shit, bro. No, it this was, uh, it was the Utah Jazz. <laughs> hey, yo. hey I, I don't really, I don't really. Never mind, I can't. Let me stop. Talk hey, your shit. Look at, look at, hey, Nate, Nate wants to snap. That's why he's so quiet over there, yeah, man. I want, really hey, but this is <laughs> but this is important. I say that because this is important dialogue. Hey, that bro. Hey, bro. I, I, I can't trust the rabbi anyway, so I'm gonna just keep it real, bro. I don't yeah. know about okay. that. Okay. They, they got cold history, bro. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. They now, got now cold I know history, you know so it. I don't give a damn what that dude is talking about basketball and. This ball See. brought us together, bro. Cut the crap. Y'all blackballing uh, Kyrie out the motherfucking league. Y'all trying to do him like y'all did Kaepernick because he don't just bow down and jump through your hoops and do exactly what you want him to do. And that's a fact. If you want to be at that level, you're going to have to play their game. If not, we're we going to see what's going to happen to Kyrie. I, and it's unfortunate because he's you know, probably the most skilled player basketball player ever. One of them. That dude is different, yeah, bro. He's one of them. He's definitely one of the most skilled. Yeah. You know what's crazy? What's, what's crazy is when 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 black folks is in this situation, we supposed to educate. We supposed we supposed to we supposed to let you know like what you what you did wrong. Yeah, this yeah, nigga yeah. this nigga goes out here and does this shit and that and nigga it's the end of the world as we know it. As we know it. He 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 did <laughs> bro, bro. like what the fuck? But I got I'm supposed to educate. Oh, oh, why do you guys have a whole month? Like, oh, what the heck? Oh, wait a minute, cancel that nigga. But if you if you listen to the rest of it, because I couldn't, I wasn't able to play a certain amount because y'all know how they do. But and the rest of it, he says that me and uh like the kids at my school were threatened and we're be getting death threats and things of that nature. Really, bro, bro, the it, kids at his school when he was a little kid. No, he's a teacher. Yeah. He's a teacher. Oh, oh, so at his school, he's getting death threats now. Yes, yes that's what he after, said. After, after, after that retweet. That retweet's getting them death threats. Yeah, that's because what he said. Because and, of Kyrie. And, and, okay. and, guess, okay. and, guess, and guess who ain't getting none of the smoke? Guess who ain't getting none of the smoke? Fucking Amazon. The, the, Amazon ain't getting the, none of the smoke. I mean, Amazon's not getting none of the smoke. The, the author's not getting none of the smoke. Oh, that's the motherfucker. The, any... Nah. Come on, man. <laughs> this is wild, bro. This is wild. This is this is this is buffoonery. Uh, this is dumbest <laughs> shit. NBA, NBA, NBA. I was so proud of the NBA for all the fucking shit they did with the Black Lives Matters and shit like that. Uh, but now they look like some bitches right now. Uh, dead ass. They looking like some cold bitches out here, man. They 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 and 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 maybe maybe with all rights, maybe these Jews is, is really that them niggas. So maybe I should be a bitch too, nigga. Now I'm shut the fuck up. <laughs> but that that is wild though. But 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 the NBA didn't suspend Kyrie. Yeah, it was that, that was the Nets. It was the Nets. Nets. And the, and you saw the Nets didn't have no pressure from the NBA though. I'm but sure they did. That the NBA didn't suspend him at all. Yeah, but it was, a, it was the Nets. But the NBA though, because at the beginning of that, I didn't because I, I only wanted to play a certain amount of seconds of it. But at the beginning of that. Adam Silver is there. They're behind the Brooklyn Nets because they're saying oh, that this is hate. They they're talking be. about this is hate. So yeah, yeah. they're just like yeah. pretty much are like, yeah, go ahead and do that. Get his ass up out of here. But I I, I seen on uh, the NBA uh played the craziest part. I seen on <laughs> yeah, I seen NBA, on Adam Silver's uh, I seen on a Adam Silver's uh, uh Twitter that they had dinner with Kyrie today earlier, and he said it was like a successful. Like meeting or something yeah. with Kyrie. So it's like, hopefully, they're, you know, 
So they, you know, I hope so, bro. They doing too much. Bro, I bro. wish I could be a bug on that table, bro, bro for real. And you know, you know crazy. what's crazy? You know what's the crazy? NBA, you know the NBA ain't slick though. They made the but, Nets suspend them so that when Kyrie sues, they ask, they can't sue the NBA. That's a fact. That's a uh, that's what I'm thing. saying. That's what I'm so, saying. You know, you know what's crazy though is I don't know about y'all. I like I don't know. I don't know the relationships y'all got outside of like family and everything. But I have like Jewish friends, right? Like people I consider real friends who are Jewish. And I don't. They felt yeah, a certain know. type of. They felt they felt a certain type of way talking about the about the uh, the Adolf Hitler quote or whatnot. But once they actually settled and thought about the whole situation, you feel me? And, and actually did their research on the film. They were like, NBA. I mean, uh, the Brooklyn Nets tripping. That's crazy. I'm I, just, I just don't. Weird. I just don't seem like it's it's this serious. You know what I mean? It's this serious. What's the What's the Brooklyn Nets record right now? I don't even know because this is this serious. They're like they're like uh, four and six now. Four and six. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin Durant though went crazy the last two games. Except except he the last to. game he missed. Except the last game we missed some clutch free throws versus Luca. Outside yeah. of that. That man yeah. Luca. We gotta do everything. Fun to watch. Yeah, he got.